Hey, what's going on guys? Nick White, owner of Off Leash Canine Training. I'm here in the wonderful South Florida doing a private five-day training seminar for UFC star Luke Rockhold and his six-month-old Catahoula, Lucy. Lucy doesn't have any real major issues. She has almost no obedience whatsoever. Uh, Luke has to chase her around whenever she accidentally gets off leash. She jumps on people. She nips play bites a little too rough pulls on the leash, pretty much all the things you would expect from an untrained six-month-old puppy. But I'm looking forward to showing you her progress over the next five days. Dude, Rockhold's top game might be the best in the fucking division.
compared to normal? Lucy's looking good. She was a, a young child running wild about a week ago. <laughs> uh, she's well behaved. <laughs> Hi, I'm Luke Rockold. I've had the pleasure of having Nick White with me this week with Off Leash Canine Training, and uh, we've just been correcting all the little mistakes my little Lucy has had uh, <coughs> has come to have. Um, thing with Lucy, Lucy's uh, she she'd get a little little crazy and she'd run across the street when I let her out, and she'd think we're playing, and I couldn't bring her back, and it was a bit dangerous at times. So it was uh, it was always a, a testy little time until. Uh, so Nick came in and uh, we got her on point. She's she's uh, sticking by my side, coming when I call her. Uh, she's not, you know. There was there was issues where we'd be out in public and she'd jump on people and you know she she wouldn't respond as well and, and, and you'd have those same altercations where you get she get too far away and yeah you know, you're getting in trouble. So uh, it's been a blessing to have Nick on. You know, five days in we are <clears throat> better than I'd ever think we'd be. Uh, it's. Uh, Pretty awesome. You know, there, there's always, I'm in the gym a lot, and so Lucy's, you know, I can't always leave her at home, and so I tend to bring her to the gym, and she gets uh, she gets a little uh, lonely, sitting in the corner, like, waiting for me to get done training, and, like, I noticed, like, when I'd go on the mat, she'd be pretty good, but anytime I'd walk out the other way, she'd go to take a shower or anyway, like, directed off the mat where she couldn't see me, she'd end up barking and freaking out and get restless, uh, so it, she, we've cured all that and uh, she sits quietly enjoys herself we get her out once uh, in between training and, and she's uh, she's a happy girl um, other than that over at my bar West training facility Lucy would run around jump on everybody would never stay put um, it was always an issue uh, and so I mean when I'd tie her up she'd bark because it, it's such a big gym and she'd be so far away so now she's we've corrected all that She's not pooping on the field, on the, on the turf anymore, and peeing out there. So we've, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. It's, uh, it's an incredible thing to have as a dog that, that you can, uh, you can let them go. You know, that's that's the key with this whole process is like letting them have their freedom, feeling good about it, feeling safe for them, and then, and, uh, <clears throat> and being able to get, bring them back on. It's like the leash isn't fun for any of us. So uh, it's nice to have that freedom for for both of us. And so, live a better life. I want to give, give my dog the best. So thank you, Off Leash K9. Thank you, Nick.